Hello. So I want to talk a little bit about your lymphatic system because the lymphatic system is ridiculously important for your immune system and having a healthy immune system is really ridiculously important these days. Would you not agree? Oh, big truck. Hang on. Uh, yeah, and it's also tied in with the circulatory system and we all know how important the cir circulatory system is uh, to us humans. But the lymphatic system isn't one that's uh, particularly mm, glamorous <laughs> and it's not one that we really talk about and we often forget that it even exists, which is kind of weird because it is so incredibly important and does such wonderful things for the immune system and the circulatory system uh, because it cleans our blood. Um, and the only sort of context that we have with the lymphatic system is when your doctor or your dentist kind of does this little notion here and you know and checks to see uh, if there's any swelling and what it's what they're doing is they're checking to see if any of your lymph nodes which are these little tiny stations that basically store lymph and kill bacteria if they're swollen and if they're swollen then they're probably clogged and they need a little bit of help or they're fighting a bacteria of some sort they're pretty well signs that um, the lymph is doing uh, something it's doing its job so the lymph it the lymphatic system is all over your body from the bottom to the top uh, and the problem is it doesn't have a pump like the circulatory system has our heart which pumps blood uh, throughout the body uh, the lymph doesn't have that. So what makes lymph move, which is necessary, or else we do get all clogged up and we get swelled and whatever, um, is movement. And back in the day it used to be these, and still is, but we just don't hear about them as much anymore. But I don't know if you remember the wee little trampolines that uh, were all the rage, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years, maybe even longer, I'm really bad with time. But uh, for a while, uh, little mini trampolines were like in every household <laughs> and you would just bounce on them like a mini trampoline and you would twist on them and I think there were even exercise classes where, you know, you'd be in a classroom with all people on these little trampolines and doing all these exercises. Well, that was great for the limb system for sure. It got things moving. They were called rebounders. Did I say that already? Uh, the other thing is dry brush. Uh, dry brushing, so getting a dry brush and, and brushing your skin dry, um, that's to help get lymph moving and you kind of have to go up. The lymph goes from the bottom up. So you can imagine how difficult it would be to travel up a body, right? So you would brush up towards the heart, up the legs, up the arms, up towards the heart. So those are two ways and you can Google those for sure. Um, and as far as like jumping on the trampoline, doing things like jumping jacks or jumping up and down or jogging or even walking for that matter, um, will help move lymph along. But some of us can't uh, move that well or that quickly or that often. And for those of us that are a little more sedentary or for whatever reason, uh, there are a couple of other things that you can do uh, that I'm going to show you now uh, that will help and help move this lymph along and again it's super important like it's a super important part of your body so to take care of it is very very valuable okay so it's cleaning the blood and then it sort of redistributes clean stuff back in the circulatory system and at different parts of the um, lymphatic system there are uh, organs uh, that are actually creating um, if not maturing um, cells that are extremely important for the immune system fighting the bad guys so we need the lymph to move well uh, yeah so the two things that I'm gonna offer up are uh, deep breathing and also thymus tapping or thumping depending on uh, what appeals to you more <laughs> um, the other thing is there is lymphatic drainage massage but I'm not going to uh, show you that because there are contraindications to that and I don't want to get into that so I you, ne you need to research that on your own and talk to your doctor potentially especially if you have um, you know any blood clots or a congenitive heart disease or any circulatory problems you know you can look into lymph drainage uh, massage but uh, I'm not going to be uh, diving into that so you're welcome to go and explore that uh, but definitely talk to your doctor if you're gonna go that way but the two things that I'm gonna tell you plus movement um, are, are safe. So the one is good old deep breathing. Uh, so it is uh, placing your hand on your stomach and taking a nice deep breath in uh, through the nose and feel the stomach expand because 
that expansion and then exhaling through the mouth, that that process is actually call, causing a bit of diaphragmic um, um, con, like expansion and contraction is actually pushing uh, through the lymphatic system. So it kind of helps um, the movement. Okay, so that's one. So doing some nice deep breaths. Um, you know, if you consciously think about the breathing as being part of you allowing lymph to move around, like make that connection. And you can do that, you know, number of times during the day, you know, do four or five really nice deep breaths. Um, that's going to help. And the second one, this, th uh, this thymus uh, pumping or thumping or tapping uh, is really really valuable like the thymus which is located uh, so your sternum your your uh, breast bone like just the top part of, of that bone behind that is the thymus and in the thymus the, that is where uh, these T cells are actually maturing uh, and they are um, cancer killing cells so there's major major immune system cells that are being created in the thymus and hormones to help stimulate and all this stuff. It's really, it's a cool little dude. And the drag is, uh, it starts to kind of die after puberty. So um, we're going to sort of give it a little bit of love and let it us let it know that we know it's there. And we're going to do that by thumping. And by the way, there's also like an energy work. Um, there's a belief that um, thumping the, the thymus is actually a way to release fear and to bring energy. And the connection they make with the gorilla thumping of the chest is that they think that that is actually um, them releasing fear. So they become even more um, aggressive and able to fight because they do it you know when they're feeling threatened and to boost their energy so I don't know I mean take that if you wish I kind of believe it I think it's kind of a cool way to look at it and why would a gorilla thump its chest I mean really and it is when it's being aggressive so kind of makes sense to me so let's just say that we're also going to release some fear from our system by doing this as well which is kind of a nice thought yeah so you can either cluster your fingers together, where, there you go, or use a flat palm or use an actual flat part of your fist. And again, it's kind of like there's that dip of the collarbone and you're just going down just about, mm, I don't know, what is that, an inch, maybe two inches. And you're just going to tap, thump, not super hard, right? We're just kind of going, hey, thymus, I feel you. I hope you're well. Thank you for doing all that you do for me and my immune system. You're awesome. And take a couple of deep breaths while you're doing it and do, I don't know, like a minute of this. And you can do that, you know, three times a day. I do it when so I'm in the car and I was actually doing it, which is why I stopped. <laughs> I thought I'd share with you. Hey, I'm actually, you know, thumping my thymus. I might as well tell these guys about this. So there you have it. So rebounding, if you got one of those little trampolines sitting down in your basement, go for it. Jumping jacks, if you're up for it. A nice brisk walk. Um, you can dry brush, which you can Google and uh, find out what that's all about. Uh, there is lymphatic drain massage uh, that you can do uh, to yourself or actually get it professionally done. Uh, but again, there's um, health issues. So some people aren't to do that. So I don't want to get into it here. Um, but you need to look into that if you wish. And then the deep breathing, the stomach going out and in uh, to help with the movement of the lymphatic system and good old Gorilla Tarzan stuff. Okay. 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 I think that's it, guys. So go forth and pound uh, on the old thymus, but not too hard. Okay. You're not, a, you're not about to fight. <laughs> you're not trying to show, you know, your, uh, your power. You're actually just giving the thymus a little bit of love and attention. All right. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.